Good. Captain Peterson and I will be equipping some suits of the T-51 power armor we found stored here as a precaution. Time to go. Get in the gunner's position. We've got to be ready for anything. Connecting to elevator. Sending command. Can you hail them? Yes, sir. Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. Do you copy? Over. Again! Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. Do you copy? Over. I don't like this. I can't make out any activity from here. Lieutenant, before we land, I want you to circle the oil rig. Let's get eyes on the situation. Yes, sir. ETA, 30 seconds. anyone Yes, it was nothing. Just hurt. Stay frosty.
mess. Watch out, more of them. Watch your digits, Blue. Feral. United States Army. Just what the hell is going on here? General, we need to talk. There's hostels all around and most doors are jammed. You need to go left and make your way up the catwalks. The door behind me still works. It'll bring you to the war room. Meet me in there. It's the safest place on the oil rig. Understood. Let's move out.
Here's a classic. over there. Let's go. General Ford? How? I've seen your files, sir. You were supposed to be here 200 years ago. What happened? A vault tank happened. We can talk about that later. Right now, I need to know what happened here. Who are you, soldier? I'm Colonel Whitehill. I served here under General Douglas up until 2279, when the lab suffered a containment breach. After that, everything fell apart. Those of us that didn't die abandoned the oil rig and either went into hiding or deserted. God, how could this happen? And these creatures, how many are there? How do we get rid of them? Those things are ghouls. The labs were working on some sort of project to create and use them as fodder. It went very badly. The oil rig's defenses were down, so we were sitting ducks. I returned here a few days ago with salvaged equipment to repair the targeting computer. It's all in place now. The only thing left to do is restart the reactors, and the defenses should do the rest. Those are your orders, Colonel. Take our friend with you and get those reactors online. Captain Peterson and I will show up here. Dismissed. Hi. This won't be easy. There's a lot of ghouls roaming the oil rig. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, first things first. Take this ID card. You're gonna need it. The oil rig's currently on lockdown. If we wanna get to the reactors, we need to override it. To do that, you need to send an override command from the terminals of General Douglas, Dr. Richmond, and Senator Clark. Let's move out. We'll hold position in the war room for now. Excuse me. Stop wasting time. You and Colonel Whitehill need to get the oil rig's defenses online. Move!
Before we can bring the defenses online, we need to lift the lock. We've got three codes left to send from the department head. Damn it, I'm hit! this.
We're here. This is the reactor control room. Are you ready to restart the reactors? Ready. I'll have a look at the terminal and see what the situation is. Doesn't look a day past 199. By the looks of it, we got lucky. The reactors are still intact. It's just a matter of inserting the dampening coils and nuclear agitators. You should be able to find spares in the reactor room, probably in containers. This is important. You need to insert the Terminal's agitators in the lower lot. insertion point and the dampeners in the upper insertion point. Don't mix it up. I'll power on each reactor as you insert the components. When both are on, I'll be able to restore the defenses. Just be careful. I'm reading a rad leak in there. There should be some equipment around here that can help protect you if you need it. One last thing. Those bulkheads will lock behind you to contain the rats. I should be able to unlock them once the reactors are on. Good luck.
watch the radiation, but the bulkheads are still locked. I think getting the defenses online will unlock them. Wait, I I'm, I'm picking up movement in the vents. Might be ghouls? The noise must have attracted them. Watch your back! Here's some watch out. We're done here. Let's get back to General Ward. Hey. At least one thing has gone to plan. Good work, you two. It's encouraging that so much seems to have powered on. Maybe most of the damage here is in fact superficial. What we need now, most of all, is manpower. Permission to speak, sir? Granted, Colonel. When we lost the oil rig, we also lost the ability to communicate with other outposts in the region. I don't know how many of those outposts are still around, but if we could bring the comms equipment back online, we could order them to regroup here. I see. Do we have the necessary equipment to restore communications? We don't, but I know where we could find it. You probably saw the USNS Harper stranded not far from here when you flew in. It was the oil rig's primary supply vessel. During the evacuation, some troops tried to flee on it. I assume the ship broke down not long after. I don't know what happened to those on board, but if anywhere has the equipment we need, it's there. Excellent. That will be our immediate objective. Lieutenant Fitzpatrick will take our friend here to the USNS Harper and attempt to recover it. Meanwhile, Colonel, I believe a full debrief is in order. Yes, sir. I realize that I have not been forthcoming with you about who we are exactly. You've helped us get this far, so it's about time I tell you. We are the Enclave, the last bastion of our beloved America. It is our duty to undo the damage caused by the Great War, and I will ensure we succeed. From what I have seen here today, we have a lot of work to do. I extend to you an invitation to join us in this work. Who are you people exactly? The Enclave came to be long before the bombs dropped. The nation's brightest minds, our best fighters, our devoted politicians, all as one. From the shadows, we worked tirelessly for the good of our country. We made sure that no matter the threat, inside or out, we were ready. We were the true patriots. Now, we are the continuation of the United States of America, and we are duty-bound to rebuild it. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased you think so. You are proving to be valuable to us. Find Lieutenant Fitzpatrick at the Vertebird when you're ready to head for the ship.
Let's talk at the vertebrae. Hi. Ready to head out? Let's go. Board the vertebrate and we'll get going. Temperatures, check. Hydraulics, check. Ignition, all systems go. other journalists. Here's trouble!
go. Board the vertebrate and we'll get going. Temperatures, check. Hydraulics, check. Ignition, all systems go.